in esports, it is easy to focus on the players, the stars that make the big plays, and the teams that win it all. Too often, we forget about the coaches and the support staff that these players need to accomplish their dreams. One coach has always broken that mold and was one of the individuals responsible for making coaches a required part of any serious esports team. His name, of course, is Koma the respected leader behind the SKT dynasty. While teams have utilized coaches as far back as the original days of Counter-Strike and Halo, it took them a long time to become accepted in the more modern esports landscape. Coaches are common in athletics and even business, but didn't have a solid footing in the esports ecosystem. In 2012, Koma started coaching and looked to change that. Formerly a StarCraft player, Koma first entered League of Legends as a competitor, and in 2011, played as the jungler on a team called Startail. Unsuccessful in this endeavor, he was offered the opportunity to coach a team few knew at the time, SK Telecom, and he took it. His first event with the team was IEM Season 7 Cologne in December of 2012. He found immediate success, winning the entire tournament by defeating Fnatic in the finals. By the following summer, his team were the Korean champions, and with his new star mid laner Faker, looked ready to conquer the world. That year, his team won the world championship with ease. SKT always played very intelligently and much of the credit for that cerebral style went to Koma and his staff. Few teams from Europe and North America had full-time coaches, but they were now starting to take note. All League of Legends fans know the story of the SKT dynasty. The team went on to win back-to-back -back world championships in 2015 and 2016, before falling in the finals of 2017. During his run, Faker was the only player still on the team from their initial 2013 entrance onto the world stage, but Koma was right there with him. The two seemed to be inseparable, and it appeared destined that as long as they were together, SKT would be one of the best teams in the world. Then, things began to change. In 2018, SKT missed the world championship entirely for only the second time in five years. In 2019, they made it back but were eliminated in the semifinals by G2 Esports. Koma decided it was time for a change. At the end of 2019, he announced his departure from SKT to move on to a new challenge. He was highly sought after by teams from around the world and finally elected to go to China to head the development of a young Vici gaming squad. Through his time with SKT, Koma made coaching a necessary role on every competitive League of Legends team. He won nine major international competitions, 12 domestic leagues and playoffs, and made it to nine additional major finals. He is the winningest coach in League of Legends history, and a true trailblazer in the world of esports.